In this video, we're going to look at how we can add narration to a slideshow in Keynote on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now, in addition to creating a self-playing presentation where it will play on its own, we can also create a narrated presentation. With a narrated presentation, what it'll do is it'll progress on its own based on our narration. Basically, what we do is we record the presentation with our own voice or with the narration, and then as we advance through the slideshow, Keynote will remember that, and then when the presentation is played, it'll advance through based on your narration. It's pretty simple to do. We just basically record ourselves giving the presentation. So how do we do that? Well, basically what we need to do is we need to go to our document settings here, and then we go over to audio. Under audio, you're going to see record slideshow. This is where we record our slideshow, and then it'll create a narration for us. So now I'm just going to click on record here. Well, let's first go to the first slide. I'm going to select my first slide here. We want to start at the first slide. And now I'm going to click on record here. When I click on record, it's going to enter into presenter display. It's not recording me yet, but if we look at this, you're going to see we have our VU meters down at the bottom. I know the microphone is working now. The next thing that I would need to do is I would just need to click on record and go through the presentation. But before I do that, you can go and customize what we see here. So I can see the current slide here and I can see the next slide. If I wanted to see the presenter notes, I just go up to the icon here and I can select what I want to see. So I'm just going to click on record here and when I do, you're going to see a countdown and then I'm going to start recording. I'm going to advance through the slides manually, so I'm just going to advance when I'm done with the slide. We're just going to go through a couple of different slides here to see how this works. So I click on record. We have our countdown. Welcome to Tulip Time. This is held every May in Holland, Michigan. With hundreds of thousands of tulips, national entertainment acts, events and activities for all ages, you can join us every May to help celebrate and experience tulip time. We have parades and Dutch dancing in the streets. Over six million tulips line the streets. Carnival rides, food booths. We also have national and local entertainment. We have an art and craft fair and we have fireworks along the water. More on our parades here. We have a kinder parade, which is held on Thursday. This is a children's parade. And then we also have a people's parade, which is held on Saturday. We have a number of different events that happen every day. On Saturday, we have nine events. On Sunday, we have eight events. On Monday, we have eight. And then on Tuesday, it goes up to 12. This is when Tulip Time really kicks into high gear. On Wednesday, we have nine events, including our parade. And now you get the point of what I'm doing. So I'm going to stop recording here, and we're going to take a look at this. So I click on the stop recording here. I could also just pause it, but I'm just going to click on the stop recording. And now what I did is I just created a narration for this. So I'm going to hit escape here. And we can see that we have a narration. If I wanted to re-record it, I can click on clear. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to go to the first slide here. I'm going to turn my volume up so you can hear it. And now I'm going to click on play and watch what happens. First of all, I can play on this Mac, but I also have the option to play this recorded slideshow. That's what I want to do. When I do this, it's just going to play the recorded slideshow. It's going to advance through the slides based on when I clicked on them or advance them while I was narrating. I am not going to touch the computer when I select play recorded slideshow. It's going to be all on its own with my narration. So let's take a quick listen to this and see how this works. Welcome to Tulip Time. It might be a little quiet there, but you can get the point of what, uh, what it's doing. With hundreds of thousands of tulips, national entertainment acts, events and activities for all ages. You even get some my little pauses there. Now it's going to go through the bullets as I went through them. Over six million tulips line the streets. 
carnival rides. So that's how we add narration to a presentation. When we add narration, it does turn it into a self-running slideshow. We can even export this out as a movie. All I do is just go up to File in the menu bar, and then we go down to Export, and we go over to Movie. When I select Movie, what I'm able to do is select my slideshow recording. So if I select this, it's going to export out with my narration. It's going to go to the next slides based on when I recorded that narration. If I do not want to do that, I can also just have it self-playing. Then it's just going to be a timed export. It's going to be based on like five seconds per slide. It is not going to be based on my narration. But if I want it based on my narration, I just select slideshow recording. It'll export it out as a movie and it'll include my narration. So that's how we add narration to a slideshow and turn it into a self-running slideshow in Keynote on the Mac. Basically, we just go to our document settings and then you're going to see audio and you'll see record slideshow. Click on that, set up your presenter display how you want it, click on record. And once you click on record, you just start advancing through the slideshow. When you are finished, you click on the record button again and then what you'll be able to do is select if you want to play that slideshow as a normal slideshow or presentation or with your narration. You can even export it as a movie with your narration. So that's how we add narration and create a self-running presentation with that narration in Keynote on the Mac.